Good evening, meteorologist Brandon Lashburn here with an update on the weather for tonight, Monday evening, as we go into the overnight hours, where we do have a chance for some strong to maybe some severe storms, as we'll see a line of storms move through the area over the next few hours or so. So, we have a newly issued tornado watch in effect until 2 a.m. for areas near and north of the 10 12 corridors. This does include East Baton Rouge Parish, Limson Parish, areas in the north like New Roads, Kentwood, Macomb, even the North Shore as well, and areas to the north along the I-55 corridor up to the I-20 corridor near Jackson, Mississippi. So, this whole area will see a chance for some storms to roll through the, through the area with the potential in a favorable environment for some tornadoes. So, this is where we have the best chance for severe weather overnight is areas north of the interstates. Now, it doesn't say it can't happen south of it, but the best chance will be near and north of the interstates towards that level 3 enhanced risk in that orange color there. So, northern areas will have that better chance for some strong to maybe some severe storms as we'll see into the overnight hours. Now, we do have that a 10% chance in that yellow color there in that hatched area, those arrows, for a chance for some strong tornadoes possibility. So, there is that potential for some strong tornadoes. Now, again, that is a more conditional threat where we have that high ceiling but kind of a low confidence low probability in that but regardless there is a potential for that so what make sure keep to keep an eye on that for sure as we go into the overnight hours so as of right now uh, radar as about 740 750 across the area we're just seeing some light uh, kind of like light speckles on the radar near Baton Rouge some light showers but off to the west northwest that's when we see some more of those showers and storms in that line stretching from across areas like Alexandria to like Charles even up toward the Mississippi River the state line there all the way up toward the I-20 corridor near Jackson so that's the main line that's gonna be moving eastward as we go through the next several hours into the overnight hours with the potential chance for that to strengthen and have that chance for the strong to severe storm. So here's a triple R model showcasing some of these showers up ahead but around the 8, 9 o'clock hour or so starting to see some of these more showers and storms entering our more western, northwestern parishes and counties and then as we go to about 11, midnight, 1 o'clock or so we'll likely see that line kind of begin to get a little bit more robust possibility along the, uh, the Baton Rouge metro area and Baton Rouge to Macomb line where this is where we have to keep a close eye around the 11 midnight 1 a.m. time frame for some embedded circulations of possibility within that main line so can't rule out maybe some tornadoes within that main line of storms and some damaging wind gusts possibility as well now, the hail threat is there but it is there but it's on the more lower side and then we can't rule out maybe some downpours that could lead to some uh, maybe some ponding in those more low lying and poor drainage, drainage areas so again with an overnight component to this make sure you have multiple ways to receive those warnings and watches and alerts as you go into the overnight hours that can wake you up as well as you we go already past sunset this evening <coughs> So as we go through about past midnight or so, like I see this line begins to move eastward. So around that through two, three, four o'clock hour, likely moving toward the lakes, toward uh, the I-59 corridor and their uh, golf port going to the coastal Mississippi. And then by sunrise, all this rain should begin moving east out of here. A few lingering showers possible into the early portions of, of uh, uh, tomorrow morning, but the heavier storm and the severe threat should be over at least by tomorrow's sunrise. And then we may see some high passing clouds throughout the day Tuesday as the cold front makes its way into the area. That's going to make these winds more northwesterly, thus bringing in cooler and dry air. Although temperatures tomorrow afternoon will still be on the warmer side, upper 70s, but that cooler air comes in by Wednesday, lower to mid 70s, and then we'll have some lower humidity as well. And thankfully, though, past this uh, line of storms, as we go through the rest of this week into next weekend, we'll see temp uh, conditions more so on the drier side as well. So, again, make sure you are weather aware tonight and make sure you stay updated on the forecast online and on air as well. You can check out BRPR.com and our social medias for the latest updates as well.